So now what I've done is I've created very quickly a little bit of uh, three-dimensionality. I've allowed the light to play off it a little bit. And what I might do is, just because I don't think light would be hitting it in these areas the same way, I'm just going to adjust my lighting. I'm going to cheat this a little bit just so that our highlights are in a slightly different spot. That's looking pretty good. And from here, I can reduce my opacity to make them more predominant or less predominant. And with my opacity uh, reduced, what I can also do is go to my lower layer now, and I'm just going to darken this a bit more. And what that's going to do is it's going to give my blood a bit of a richer, more natural looking color. Because blood, as you know, is quite dark and quite rich naturally. It can be quite nasty. So what I'm going to do is now I'm just going to merge these two layers together. So we have our blood layer and we're going to spend a little bit of time. I'm just going to reduce the opacity to see all my edges uh, and where they lie in regards to lower layers. And using the brush tool, I'm just going to blend in some of this blood to make it appear as though it's oozing out of the edges of our wound rather than being a great big pool. So if I bring up our layers again here uh, to full opacity almost, we can now go in and reintroduce some of the shadowed areas and some of the highlight areas. Sort of the same process that we've been doing with uh, all the other bruising and everything else. So in the shadow areas of the eye, I'm just going to bring it really dark. I want this to look very natural. In the beard as well, I'm going to darken it quite a bit. Leaving some of this red to poke through where there's highlights of light and really tried trying to darken it elsewhere. Uh, do the same thing in the eyebrows here. And of course, as it disappears into the beard, I want to make sure that that is also reflected accurately. And if we go to the dodge, same idea. We're going to introduce a little bit more of the color, a little bit, a few more highlights that we can add here in the brighter portions. Maybe in the eyebrows, when I have a couple hot spots. And in some of these uh, very highlighted areas, it's not going to look too bad if we almost make it white completely. So the nose, for instance, we're going to lighten that right up. So that almost disappears. Some of these outside edges as well. Maybe a couple spots within the beard where the blood might have reacted differently. And a little bit on the lip. And we'll get a couple spots over here. <laughs> 